How's it going everybody? I'm at a McDonald's and I'm gonna try the McRib again. I know it's pretty good, so that's why I'm getting it again. This time I'm gonna do it a little different because I'm sure some people are interested in how much the meat patty actually weighs. So I'm gonna take it out, weigh it for you guys, and I'll get some close-up shots. The drive-thru is a little bit busy right now. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. So you can do curbside pickup and uh, kind of skip the line, you don't have to wait. So here it is, the McRib. Why do they make it come and go? So it's kind of like a bit of a scarcity thing. When you can't get it all the time, you just end up wanting it. So here it is. I got extra onions, extra pickles. It's probably a little bit too much pickles and too much onions. Now I gotta get through all this mess to uh, get to the meat patty here. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. I flipped it over and we can see it's a good six inches long by about two and a half inches wide. The height of it, it's about three eighths of an inch high. You can see from the bottom that the rib stuff is not on the bottom side. And it's actually on the top side only. It looks delicious, it feels hot. I've wiped off most of the sauce, it's still on there. But I'm gonna tear this, so I'm gonna lift this and that's how many ounces the meat is. 3.39 ounces. Like that. 3.28 ounces. I'm gonna put it back on. It should show zero. Okay. So you got a three ounce patty over here. It's a good amount of meat. So a quarter pounder uh, would be four ounces. So this McRib is a one fifth pounder McRib. I'm gonna tear into this a little bit so we can see the contents of the inside. Here you are, gonna, so you can see. The meat that is in here. Now I have put it back. We're gonna actually really try to eat it now. Put all this back. Hopefully it tastes about the same as before. The sauce is sweet and tangy. Tastes good. Finally gonna get my first bite here. I like it. I mean, I've had it before. It doesn't look very good after I tore it up, but it has this nice pork flavor. I'm not sure how much filling they use inside the pork here. The dog probably smells it and wants some. Hmm. McDonald's didn't really say how long this is gonna last for. Hmm. That's good. So over here in the Bay Area, this McRib costs four dollars and forty nine cents plus tax. But I used the Cash App thing, and I got ten percent off. That's all the discounts I got. But at least I got ten percent off. If you guys are interested, I have a Cash App referral link down in the video description below. I would say it's a very good thing. I actually like this more than Big Macs, I guess. And don't think that it has a lot of onions and pickles because I actually got extra onions and pickles. It's the only thing that you can get um, that you don't have to add an extra fee for. Interestingly though, if you remove the McRib patty, they don't deduct a whole bunch of money out of it uh, in case you want to go meatless. It's weird how they don't just make it a permanent menu item. I think if it becomes permanent, then no one would ever actually, you know, think it's all that special. Now, kind of like the chicken filet or something. Kind of reminds me of a sausage patty, like the breakfast sausage patty, except it doesn't have as much um, black pepper and it's not as salty. So it's a good thing. I'm sure there's still a lot of salt in it, but it's certainly less salty than a uh, sausage breakfast sandwich sausage patty. With that, thanks for watching everybody. That's it. Go get your own McRib.